hello, I think I'm live. Yeah. I don't know if I'm going to come back twice, though. Hold on. Let me just make sure I'm clicking out of. Yeah, <laughs> I just caught it. <laughs> OK. Let's do that. OK, so I think I'm all right now. <laughs> Otherwise, you, you come back again and you've got double double um, voices going on. OK, so I just can't get enough of going live today, clearly. Um, so I was live earlier. I did a, um, a free psychic development class for anybody who wanted to join in. Um, and that is live on Facebook. If anybody would like to go to Facebook and have a little look, look at that, they can. Um, there's lots of laughter. I just wanted to show people that it's a catch up as well as um, developing your psychic ability. So it's a little bit of both. It's kind of like a lighthearted feeling around, you know, psychic developments. I'm not into this very strict teaching um, way. Um, it just doesn't sit right with me. Um, but I'm sure there's circles out there that are more serious um, if you wanted to go for that. Um, but I think there's a lot of people out there who are lonely and they're looking for something. They're looking for um, a connection with other people. So I kind of mix the two. It's like a um, a spiritual family and friendship get together, as well as developing your psychic gifts. So um, that is held on Mondays, every Monday, 7.30 p.m. UK time, 2.30 p.m. Eastern time or 11.30 a.m. Pacific time. OK, so, uh, you know, you're welcome to join in. It's only five pounds, uh, which works at around seven dollars, something like that. OK, um, so you can pay for these classes by going to the website and there is make a payment button on the website. Uh, Psychicalley.net or you can pay via PayPal, which is guiding angels at btinternet.com. So that's G-U-I-D-I-N-G angels at BT internet.com okay so that's paypal so if you wanted to join in just do that and then i will send you the zoom code okay and the zoom code is a code that is used every week okay so once you've got it you can then pop in when you want to okay so we cover all sorts of things from you know obviously tarot oracle cards we do mediumship we do kind of tea leaf readings we've done we've done aura readings we've done um you know uh, psychic detective, remote viewing, um, I, I, you know, colour readings, everything. We, we try a little bit of something every single week. So if there is anybody who wants to uh, join in, you know, give me a little message, OK, um, here. You can find me on Facebook, which is Psychic Alley 121, OK, on Facebook. And um, my other page is Alison Janes, J-A-N-E-S, Janes. So, so there you go. There's lots of ways that you can get in touch with me or email, I suppose, guidingangels121 at gmail.com. So how are you all? How's things going? Let's see if I can. I doubt if anybody is about today um, because I usually do this, um, a live one. I usually do this on, um, on what's it, on my um facebook that's what you usually do that's really weird it's not coming up on the page that i normally i normally use so i wonder if i've got the wrong facebook page i wonder oh sorry yeah youtube i wonder i wonder i wonder how can i tell i might have to stop this feed and then start it again because i think it's a different one all together because I've got I've got three but I only use one so let me refresh and see if that comes up more sometimes it doesn't show does it oh I am live good job I didn't turn off then wasn't it okay so oh we've got a couple of people so we've got Karina 
W, hello, it's nice to see you too. Uh, Dauphine, Frazier, hello. Thank you for these lives, readings and classes. Oh, it's my pleasure, absolutely my pleasure. I mean, I've got to thank the Patreon people who are um, really helping. Um, so there is, um, that, that really does, um, it makes, it, it allows me to, to come on and do more, you know, because I'm not having to fill my time with doing, you know, um, lots and lots of readings and things like that. So it means I can do some free stuff, which I love. And I love doing some free stuff because um, I did free psychic development today. Um, and um, I'm hoping it helped people. I really do. Um, I feel it did. So there's lots of lonely people out there, people that they need to connect with other people. You know, they've, they're kind of like, they've got all this psychic knowledge and they've got all of this, um, you know, information about the truth and what's actually going on in the background. And yet they sometimes have got no, everyone else around them is closed off to it and doesn't want to know. Um, now, that's a lonely old world because that's the kind of world that I was in um, before. Um, I was definitely in that kind of energy um, years ago when, and it mean, luckily now my family, um, you know, I've got my, my daughter Rhiannon and her husband and, um, and my mum, they all kind of have looked into things now and understand what's actually going on. But when it's on your own and you're, you're, you're trying to kind of suppress all of those feelings because you've looked into things and it's like horrendous what is really going on. Yeah, so if you're out there and you want people to come, um, you know, and, and chat to you and, you know, for you to connect with people in real time, then definitely I would highly recommend the Monday classes um, to pop over there. I'm taking names at the moment for my next Tarot Tuition Level 1, which is going to be starting in a few weeks, okay? Um, my workshops are on Saturdays. Um, they are a six-hour workshop, and you can, um, they're £15. I'm taking, if it's okay, a £5 deposit, which works at around $7, only because I need to make sure that I've got people who are serious about learning um, the tarot. That's kind of why I'm, I'm doing that, so that I know that I when I start, um, when I start kind of the, the classes, I know how many people are going to be turning up. So um, because you know what it's like, it's like you get yourself geared up, you know, with these things. And, you know, sometimes things happen in people's lives. I understand that, you know, um, but um, so anyway, how are you, Daphne? How are you, Karina? How has your day been? So I'm doing. Um, there is a little raffle going on at the moment. So if anybody would like to add their names to this raffle, um, there's loads of different, <laughs> different, different, um, different things, different prizes. Okay, so I'm going to be doing two of the main prizes. Okay, and two mystery prizes. Okay, so there's four prizes in total, two main ones. So obviously the first person whose name is called out, they get the first choice about what they want as their main kind of gift. Um, if, um, and then the second person's name, they have the choice of the rest of what um, is left. So, and then after that is then um, the two mystery gifts. So, so there you go. Um, it's a pound a go. Uh, which works out around $2, okay? So um, if anybody wants to go. Now, the, some of the, um, I've got the spell box here, which is a bit of a bummer. Okay, so I'm, I'm, um, some of the prizes are um, the light box. Can you see? It's one of these. So it's a light box that kind of shines a light. Um, it's really nice for yourself or for meditation, or it's nice for... Um, children's rooms and things like that I mean I have mine going all the time day and night I, I love it um so it's a, a light box the other choice is the good tarot which are here okay so this is the good tarot 
Okay, and these are some of the, the cards. So I'm going to be doing the astrology readings in a minute. Okay, so this is the good tarot. So there you go. So they're very um they're very soft, I would say, and gentle, the good tarot. That's how I would put those. The other choice is the gilded tarot. Okay, so the gilded tarot. These are the gilded. So these are a bit more bright and a bit more out there. Okay. That's the lover's card. Is that the wheel of fortune? The sun. These are by Cara Marchetti. Pentacles. Loads of money there, pentacles. It's a personality card. Okay, so they are the tarot cards. You have more choices. <laughs> you have a little key ring. Okay, this is kind of a key ring. These are probably going to be some of the mystery prizes, I would say. Um, so um, this is a, it's a feng shui key ring, feng shui. Um, you've then got uh, one of these Pixu bracelets. So this is all to do with, um, you know, you wear them on your wrist facing outwards and they bring you good luck. OK, so there's lots of write ups about them. So if you put this in a search engine and then found out more about it, you'll see exactly what uh, these do. There's lots of, um, you know, recommendations about them. OK, they work um, as a pendulum. OK. So this is just, uh, this is a cat's eye uh, white pendulum, okay. You've got uh, a little necklace, but these are going to be some of the little kind of um, main gifts. I think they'll be the mystery gifts there. You've got runes, okay, as the other one. So there you go, some black and gold runes, okay, so there's a little, a little pouch, or another prize is this um, window decor, so it's a butterfly, so there you go, it's a butterfly, so um, when this dangles in, it literally, because it bounces, um, it, it literally shines a beautiful light around the room, Okay, and the other one is a choice of coasters. Now, these are some of the choices, okay, but there'll be four. Okay, so this is one of the colours, but there are, I've got all sorts of colours. So um, a lot of the things that um, I've got for sale, if you click on the selling um, button, um, the selling video, um, it is on my YouTube channel then you'll be able to see, okay? So it'll be a set of coasters, okay? So it could be these, it could be another set of coasters. So there's your choices. So there's lots of different choices. Um, and, um, and mystery prizes. So there's two main mystery, two main ones and two mystery ones. Okay, so um, here you go. So, yeah, if there's anybody who would like to, I think I've just seen Dauphine make a, um, a payment there. Did I just see you do that, Dauphine? Okay. Yeah, nice, relaxing day. I was able to make some things yesterday and listen to them on Etsy. Oh, I'd like to see them. What do you make? I'd really like to see them. Mm. Oh, I find it so relaxing, doing a bit of resin or, you know, doing a bit of um, jewellery making. Oh, I'm just loving it. These are my new creations. Okay. So I've done a chakra pyramid. Okay, so chakra one. There. And that will actually have lights in it, but at the moment it doesn't have lights. I've got to buy another light box for it. Okay, and this is another one. 
So these are for sale. These are £45 if anybody would like one. OK, this is the um, other one. This is made out of resin. OK, so that's it off. This is it on. OK. So I make these for £45. OK, you choose your own colours. All these are for sale. 45 and the chakra one is 45. OK. But on the selling site, you'll see lots of uh, different ones. Um, I'll take five, uh, five chances. OK, I will put you down for five. Do you do you mind which numbers I choose or do you want to choose them? This is the numbers that are left. Can you see all of it? <laughs> it's difficult when this is in front of my face. I can't see. So, yeah, do you want to choose any of those, Daphine? If not, I can choose them for you, whichever you would like. I make handsome, my favourite band, spiritual custom mugs and t-shirts so far. Okay, oh, I'll have a look. You can choose the numbers. Okay. All right, so I'm drawn to number one with you. Um, so. Number 20. Number six. Number 41. And number 26. Is that right? One, two, three, four. Yeah, 26. So, Daphine, I've got for you number one, number six. Number 20, number 26, and number 41. There you go. Thank you. So you're on, on there. Okay, so as soon as I've kind of um, filled up the majority of that, then I will um, then um, draw that on live, on the live there. Okay. Thank you, darling. It all kind of supports me as I go along, you know what I mean? <laughs> So I want to tell you about just a few things before I go on to the readings. OK. Um, and definitely check out um, check out the Etsy. I need to start an Etsy one. Um, yes. Yeah, so, so check out the Etsy. It's called It's Finny. It's Finny. It's Finny. How do you pronounce that? <laughs> I don't know. I'm no good with names. I'm no good with with um, with trying to pronounce things. Never been any good at that. Yeah, that's why I'm no good at languages. Yeah, it's just uh, some people are good at that. Definitely not me. OK, so this Tuesday, um, Tuesday, the 24th of August, um, we will be um, at the Bell Inn in Shepherdswell near Dover. Postcode is CT157 LJ. It's at 7.30 p.m. No, it's not. I'm lying. It's at 6.30 open for 7 p.m. start. OK, the readings there are £15. You can choose whether or not you want um, future predictions or whether you want communication with spirit. OK, some readers do both. OK, so, yeah, so there's um, that is going on on Tuesday, the 24th of August. Psychic evening at the Bell Inn in Shepherdswell. Um, Thursday, the 26th of August, I'm doing my Patreon um, group meeting. So this is for Patreon people. Um, that will be starting at um, 9 p.m. I'm going to do 9 p.m. this time. So, yeah, it'll be 9 p.m. on the 26th of August. OK, it's 9 p.m. That's UK start. So what would that be? That would be 4 p.m. 4 p.m. Eastern. 
and 1 p.m. Pacific time, okay, on the 26th of August. So um, that's for all the Patreon uh, members, um, no matter um, whether it's $1.11 a month up to the 33.33, okay. So um, also we're doing a singles night. Um, we're doing a singles night. So it's on Zoom, okay. So you've probably seen this advert on Greg Prescott's page and in 5D. Um, so that is the advert there, okay. So in 5D, love, match, meet up, okay. And it's for anybody. I mean, it's really for single people, but if you, I don't want to exclude people. So if anybody wants to come along to hang out, or maybe they're looking for um, possibly friendship, they're looking for people to, um, to hang out with or connect with online, okay? Or face-to-face, -face, whichever. Um, then it's for that. Now, it's a traffic light system, okay? So if you are not available, as in you're not single, but you're just hanging out and you might be interested in friendship only, then wear red. Now me and Greg will be hosting this, so we will be in red. If you possibly may be interested um, in meeting that special person, then you wear amber or orange. And if you are definitely available, then you are green, okay? So now if you haven't got those colors to wear, then maybe drape something over the back of your chair, okay? You can do that. Or you can write in, when, when you've got on a Zoom, you can actually put your name and then you can put whether it's um, red, amber or green, okay? In your name tag there, just so that people know there's no misunderstandings. Um, of you know now on zoom you can private message people on there now if you are shy and you want me to private message them for you or you want me to contact them then I will do that um I don't mind being the in, in between okay so the time for this is a free event so it's free for everybody who wants to come there is a Facebook um, event page out there. So I would I would literally um, say that you're going. If you don't have Facebook and you want to contact me or Greg, you can contact us um, with psychicalley121 at gmail.com. You can send me a little um, email and then I will um, let you know and maybe remind you nearer the time. Okay, so it's 4 p.m. Eastern time. 1 p.m. Pacific time and 9 p.m. UK. All right, so it's for anybody who would like to connect with other people. All right, so that's what's going on on the 28th, Saturday, August the 28th. Okay, and um, like I said, I'm taking names for a tarot level one. Okay, so if you want to start, because it's level one, level two, level three, and um, professional. OK, so um, if anybody is interested, please let me know on that. There's a five pound deposit um, or it's a seven. It's about seven dollars. OK, so. Um, Patreon, if anybody would like to support me on Patreon, I would greatly appreciate it. There is um, it's from as little as one dollar eleven a month. And um, there are different tiers doing different things. So. Um, the one dollar eleven a month. Who's calling me now? Sorry, <laughs> the truth is shared. Somebody must be um, accidentally calling people. Um, so the one dollar eleven per month gets the monthly video chat. That's for everybody. Um, if you got the hierophant, let the teaching begin. It's eleven eleven per month, and that is for monthly video chats. And it is for all the videos or mostly all the videos for all the classes and the workshops that I teach. And it's the videos of those. So it's a bit like you're a fly on the wall linking with that. So you get to see those. Um, the star, let the inspiration begin, is £22.22 .22 per month. And that is a mystery gift posted to you. The monthly video chat and the classes and workshop videos. And then the world, 33, 33 per month, you get the monthly video chat, the classes and workshops videos, the mystery gift posted to you, 
and a recorded mini reading for that month. OK, so that is kind of what I'm offering. Um, and it's just a way of saying, you know, it's thanking you for supporting me and it's giving you something back in the process. So it's kind of a win win situation. OK, so I think I'm really ready to start. Um, so it's Finney, like my name. Oh, so it's Finney. It's Finney. That's funny. I like that. Yeah. Very clever. Clever play on words. OK, so um, the guys that are watching at the moment, what are your birth signs so that I can see who's about first of all? What's your only fans? Handstand twerk. I don't understand. Are you drunk? Is, is, there, is, is there a drunk person there? OK, so we have got one of them, haven't we? Is it a, a delete thing? It's a block one, isn't it? There we go. Message blocked. We do have some strange ones. Honestly, I get them on Facebook as well. Um, so what are your birth signs, guys? What are your birth signs? And um, we'll see if we can start with those. Dauphine, what's your birth sign? And Corina, if you're still here, what's your birth sign? Let me know. Mm -hmm. Okay, Aquarius, so as you were first um, speaking, I will do Aquarius. And then you've got Vir so Daphne, so that's Karina is Aquarius, and then Daphne is Virgo for star, Leo for sun, and moon. Okay, so mixture there, isn't there? Okay, so we could do it in that order. So we do equip, we do the um, air signs, then the earth signs, then the fire signs, and then the water signs last. That way, that way, that way. Is that right? Yeah. <laughs> Talk to myself here. Okay, so we'll start off with that. So Aquarius. Now, Aquarius people, I love Aquarius people. They are fully quirky, okay? Um, you can think outside the box. Um, you know, if there's if there is a diff very different way of doing things, you'll find it, okay? That's how I see Aquarius people. Um, I think that they are not afraid to be different. They're not afraid to, um, to show you, um, you know, their opinion. OK, so um, that's kind of what I see. Do you, do you like that, um, Karina, would you say? Just taking pain relief at the moment. Start the thing off with pain relief. Virgos. Virgos are, they like to plan ahead. They can dissect things a lot, but they like to plan ahead. They like to see where they're going and what they're doing. They kind of have a focus energy. Um, you know, they're a perfectionist as well, Virgos. Yeah, you agree with that, Karina? It should be a bit quirky. And Leos. Leo characters, they don't mind the limelight. They can be, um, they can be out there. They do like entertaining though. So they do like to be, um, they don't like to be bored. They like, you know, they like to be around interesting people. If it starts getting boring, they glaze over. You know, she could be talking at them and they're, they're really not, not interested. Um, so they like, they, they like excitement. Oh, isn't it lovely? Mm. Yeah, I do love my cup. Yeah. I think I just got it on Amazon, I think. Is it Amazon? Yeah. My hair gets, it needs redoing. It's not mine. It's somebody else's. 
<laughs> I bought somebody else's. It's kind of like um, the extension things. Um, a friend of mine does it, Lisa Hill. Um, and I need, I need um, it done again. Okay, so I'm going to start Aquarius. Let's make sure we can get all that in. Okay. Mm -hmm. Let's have a look, see what your week's like. So this is for the 23rd to the 29th of August, 2021. Now, if you are watching this at another time, you know, like it could even be a year, um, you'll probably find that there is something that you needed to hear, okay? It may have, you know, it's like, um, it's, it's, it's a weird things. It's like you were meant to watch it at this time, even though the dates are different, okay? So um, always, always do watch them. <laughs> Your Leah part is like that, Daphne. Yes. <laughs> okay. Right, so Aquarius people, let's have a look what's going on for this week. 23rd through to the 29th of August, 21. Okay. Right, so starting off with the feeling of having to do everything on your own. OK, you're feeling a little overwhelmed with it all. There's going to be a, a sense of, you know, <laughs> hi, Vera. <laughs> There's going to be a sense of, um, well, you know, I've got to I've got this to do and this to do and this to do. And everyone then expects me to do this as well. And, you know, when am I going to fit in any time for myself? So there is going to be um, a little bit of resentment, I feel, building up with people that clearly have nothing to do and so much, so many opinions about what everyone else should be doing when actually they need to be getting on with their own stuff too. Okay, so it's going to be a little bit of that going on. Um, I also see decorating, moving and changes in the home. Now, this could be as simple as having a sort out home, rearranging furniture, swapping furniture, um, trying out different things, just I mean, you know, with kind of ornaments and things like that. It just feels as if it's like a little bit of changes going on there. Um, to it could be other, you know, some of you will be moving, okay, moving, rerouting, okay, it could be that. Um, you're going to be trying to keep the balance, trying to keep everybody happy, trying to make sure everyone's all right. There will be a feeling of, you know, how can I do this? How can I? Um, you know, it, it's like, you know, if I choose and stand by that person, then I'm going to upset this person. If I, if I, you know, so it's like, you know, it's a, it's a, whatever you do, you can't win. It, it's going to be a little bit of that. So yeah, it's not going to be great, but it's still, you know, it's, it's not, um, it's not something that's going to land you in arguments and things like that. It just makes me feel as if, you know, um, uh, there's a lot on your plate. Okay. I'm not surprised, Vera. It's uh, half past three for you in the Netherlands. So no wonder you're tired. Okay, so the middle of Aqua middle of um, next week for Aquarius. Okay, so there's a bit of sadness I'm feeling here. Um, this this sadness is growing because of you isolating yourself, going into yourself, withdrawing away from people, withdrawing away from situations. Now, these situations are making, um, it's like, it, you know, the withdrawing away has actually changed your mindset, though. So although it is sad and although it's frustrating, there is a lot of feelings of, you know, I'm going to I've made a bigger decision about this or, you know, I've been thinking about that or I've got a great idea. So sometimes, you know, being still and, you know, getting away from the hustle bustle of life can actually work in your favour. So I do feel that there that's the only good thing. OK, about that. There seems to be some secrets around um, secretive behaviour or somebody 
trying to keep secrets. It could be you keeping secrets. Um, and there's kind of different ways of thinking about those as well. You know, um, how am I feeling with this? Is this what I want? Are these secrets laying too heavy on my shoulders now? OK, maybe somebody has confided in you and maybe you don't know how to um, cope with that. Now, I'm giving you different scenarios. So this could be that scenario for one person, but it's a different scenario for another. OK, so the concept is feeling um, as if withdrawing away and it's to do with secrecy, keeping things secret, maybe not telling other people how you're really feeling. Um, and it's a new idea. OK, going off about what you want to do. OK, so the end of the week. Now, the end of the week, it's like you've got to be creative about keeping people, um, keeping people happy. You know, what, what can you do to kind of, you know, please both sides? And I'm hearing your sense of humour coming out a little bit more and the sarcasm. Um, you know, and it's like, what else am I supposed to do? You know, it's like you've put me in a very awkward situation. Um, and now I've just got to push on through. OK. And, you know, so I feel as if there's lots of laughter, there's lots of sarcasm. I feel that you are dealing with things head on. You're not letting um, anything go um, when you feel very strongly about things. Your spirit guides are very close around you, your loved ones and spirit guides. And they're basically saying, you know, they're trying to point you in the right direction, trying to give you some um, some other kind of ways of handling things that are, are not going to upset anybody. OK, so, yeah, there is a lot of mischievousness around. I do feel as if there's links with a complicated love life. Doesn't have to be yours, but it is around you. And again, there's a need to get to the bottom of something. Also, for some of you, there's a need to spice up that love life and to, oh, hello. My Netflix has just come on by itself. Weird things happen, don't they? Turn that off, go. Thank you. Um, yeah, so um, sometimes it's the need to kind of get out that sexy side, get out that va va boom, all right? So, um, you know, for other people, it will be just get out that that cheeky, that cheeky you. OK, so there you go. That's what I see for you guys. Um, Aquarius. OK. So let's have a little look um, at the next one, which will be Gemini. Gemini's. Greg says Geminians. Right. Okay. What's going on with you guys, Gemini's? Now, Gemini's, you are accused of having different polarities, like having a good side and a bad side. And I don't think that's true for the majority of Gemini's. Um, my feeling is that there, there is, um, it's like have been an extrovert but when you get to know that person they're actually quite shy or that person might be shy on the outside but when you get to know them they're an extrovert so it's it doesn't have to be the good and the bad just what I mean and, and I think they get a bad turn of it I think Gemini's so so yeah Gemini's that's um that's you I think you've got you can actually think about more than one situation um, you know, more. It's like being being able to put both sides to an argument and being very clear about it. You know that those two kind of energies inside you uh, work really well when negotiating. Um, Karina says, "Thank you. Yes, feeling my guides touching the back of my hand. Great reading. Oh, good. Yeah." They're around you. Oh, there's my love. Hi, darling. He's lovely. I love him. You lot know. I do. Okay. So this is Gemini's. Okay. 
23rd through to the 29th of August. Your next week will start off with this. Um, you've got some very good cards. OK, so the Ace of Cups is all about an overflowing of emotions. It's about being able to, to, to feel good emotions and to let them out to other people. So other people really want to be around you because you're shining so brightly. Now, emotionally as well, it's like you're in a good place. You've done a lot of kind of work on yourself. You've done a lot of soul searching. You've kind of gone deep within and tried to have a clear out and get rid of um, things. It's like past emotions that are no longer, you know, connected to you. It's like, I don't want to feel like that anymore. Um, I'm going to kind of move on and let everybody get on with that because, you know, I'm just going to do things myself. So um, there's going to be a lot of kind of, you know, the it's where the emotions are good, the emotions that are um, in it, it's like a repaired state repaired and strengthened okay your emotions now we've got the hanged man and the hanged man to me especially with these other cards it indicates that everything has been turned upside down you've literally been able to look at other people or look at the situation um, from different angles from different perspectives and you know it's it's as if it's as if it's been it's been a good lesson. It's like I can see the lesson that I've had to learn with that. I can see where I've had to, you know, change my energies or, you know, or give somebody the benefit of the doubt. OK, so. By the middle of the week. Middle of the week, things start to quite, quite change dr dramatically. Um, I feel that there may be closure linked with um, certain things. For some of you, that will be closure to do with a relationship or closure to do with a, a friendship. Um, and that closure doesn't have to be the end. Sometimes closure means it could be the end of an argument. It could be the end of, you know, um, judgmental issues. It could be the end of, you know, um, you know, uh, um, it's like a misunderstanding. Does that make sense? It's coming in, end of that. Because um, we've basically then got the star, which is about, you know, wishings, wishing upon a star, wishing for new things, um, putting those signals out there that you, you know that you deserve better or that you want more. Um, from that situation, you know, th they're saying that, you have to then be careful when you're going into the star and you've got the, the change of life card as well. Um, do you know if you had all that you're wishing for, would you actually be happy? Would that actually make you happy? And I'm pausing so that you actually think about it, because sometimes we put it out there that, yes, I want this and yes, I want that. But maybe. You know, maybe you don't actually, maybe it's, it would be too much for you. Okay. So I think that there's a lot of kind of deep, deep thinking going on right from the beginning of the week, even through to the middle of the week for you guys, uh, Gemini's. Okay. It's going to be about work situations and money towards the end of the week. And I'm seeing links around, um, it's like promotion, extra responsibility within a job. Um, this could be starting a new business. This could be earning extra money from, you know, um, a project that you have been working on. But it does feel good. And it feels as if you've got this new fired up ambition as well to, to start something else. OK, something even better than what you started. So it's like it's it's like a, a seed has actually grown into um, now the next phase. OK, and it needs kind of uh, remolding a um, little bit more energy put into it because it's already kind of showing signs of doing well. We now need to go further. So there are some obstacles around you and uh, you'll need to kind of come to a different um, a different conclusion to you know, some, some wishes and desires that you wanted regarding this project. Now, it does indicate that there is an obstacle that you need. It's like I've got to see 
that, you know, this isn't the only way to go about this. I can actually go around this way and get into um, my wish this side. So it's, it's, it's about not being defeated, but being able to get where you need to be, okay, by being creative rather than, oh, that's it, I've got to give up. I also want to add something to do with keys and something to do with vehicles, okay, cars, vehicles, travel, okay, so if you are a bit accident prone with keys, then this could be a little bit of a warning, okay, make sure that you look after your keys, okay, Gemini's. Um, there is a definitely a change to do with money and income or promotion, okay, going on as well uh, this week. There you go, Gemini's. Okay, so we've got Libra. So this is for myself because I've got Libra rising and Greg is a Libra, triple Libra. So this is for you, my love. Right, let me give him a good shuffle. So Libra for the 23rd through to the 29th of August. Right, so the beginning of the week, opening new doors for you as well. There seems to be some new progress on a, um, a project that you've been working on, something to do with money, um, financial security. Um, it's like from worrying about something or, or things aren't working out to finding out the opposite, finding out that actually um, there's another way around it, that, you know, the solution is there. OK, so it's, it's getting to solutions. It's also about being um, from that kind of breakthrough moment. There is this interest in, you know, it's refired up. OK, it's like it from feeling as if it was kind of, you know, your energy was dimming a little bit. And, you know, it's like I'm, I'm losing hope to right. That's it. We've got this now. Uh, let's run with it. OK. So it's like an obstacle starts to become less of an obstacle um, and you're able to look, look, look forward. By the middle of the week, okay, middle of the week, you're going to be trying to run two different jobs, two different work projects, um, two very big um, situations in your life. And you're like juggling back and forth and back and forth, you know, running here, there and everywhere. There is somebody around you who you wish that you could then communicate with, but for some reason they aren't around you. Uh, this is going to be a little bit upsetting for you. It could be that you're kind of used to this not being able to talk um, to this person, but you know, there's times in our lives that we would really like to. So this could be somebody that you've either fallen out with, um, or this could be a family member, okay, um, perhaps a past loved one. OK, could be that. Um, either way, I would say if they are in the spirit world, you can still talk to them. And also, if you've fallen out with somebody, you can still talk to their higher self. OK, so you can still communicate with them that way, even if you've you've had a big fallout. All right, because their higher self will understand, you know, what it's all really about, you know, what the deep down issue has been. OK, so maybe give that a go. If you're wondering how to do that, you just sit quietly, maybe look into a candle, um, connect with and ask to speak to their higher self and uh, go from there, basically. So, yeah. So then the end of the week. For Libras. OK, end of the week, there's a, there's a big connection with re, um, reuniting. OK, it's a reuniting feeling um, from, you know, one person who has strayed away from you and they're coming back into your world. OK, or your paths are going to cross. Now, that can be kind of like a, um, an online message. It doesn't have to be. Um, it doesn't have to be just 
um, face to face. OK, bumped into somebody face to face. So but there is a reconnection. I am seeing an awkwardness, though. So it's not going to be just like old times. Uh, there seems to be it's like, I don't know, you know, whether or not this is a good idea to reconnect. Um, maybe we kind of had our argument um, back then or we had a disagreement back then and uh, this still hasn't been resolved. Either way, um, there is definitely a feeling of being let down in the past and that feeling is still going to be kind of weighing heavy um, on you. OK. I'm seeing new beginnings to do with a job. OK, so if, if a situation to do with work and money has been um, heavy and hectic and, um, and not connecting, you haven't been getting enough money in, maybe some um, some bills have been kind of, you know, worrying you or anything. What's going to be happening at that point is um, you're seeing a breakthrough. You're seeing the end of that way, the beginning of something else. So it seems to be a big shift going on. Um, to do with your finances as well, Librans. Um, looking ahead, being able to see further, okay? Maybe this is um, a feeling of, I know that things are going to be different. And because I know things are going to be different, I am able to not stress about those, those issues. It's like, well, that, that was, uh, that's how it is now, but fast forward this for another month. And things are going to be a lot, lot better, a lot clearer. There you go. That's for Libra. And so we've done all the air signs so far. OK, so as promised, we're going to go into, wasn't it Virgos? Let's have a look. Yeah, Virgo. So this is uh, for Daphne. There you go. Let's do Virgos first. OK, so we do Virgos, then Taurus, then Capricorn. Must do these, these signs a little bit smaller because they kind of take over the screen a bit, don't they? <laughs> That's better. <laughs> OK. That's all right, my darling. OK. So I'm going to um, be doing these um, on you, my YouTube, but hopefully Greg can also put them on in 5D as well. And that's what I wanted um, to happen because I've got to build up my YouTube channel, you know, so I've got to do that. You're still there, Sophie. OK, right. Let's tune in to you, <laughs> Virgos and Ivy. <Devine. laughs> Are you coming on the 20, 28th, Daphne? Are you going to be there for the In 5D Love Match? Right, so beginning of the week. Seems to be some sort of legal documents, official documents, having to sort things out in an official manner. OK, Virgos. Um, and it's it's as if you've got. Um, there's good and there's bad. You know, it's like having to do this, but not wanting to do this at the same time, feeling as though, you know, this is unfortunate. You know, I wish things could be different. OK, so. It's not, it's not happy, 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 okay? But it's not necessarily um, bad either, you know? So it, it's, it's a mi middle ground, middle ground. Um, I do feel as if there's to do with kind of feeling low or feeling as if I, I'm drained, okay? And it's drained by a situation that needs to be changed, okay? I've seen tears around it. I've seen emotions around it. Um, you know, what can we do to uh, to get things um, back on a level? OK, but it is about getting justice. It is about kind of having that uh, feeling that somebody is on your side who's got a bit of a um, bit of clout. I don't know if you know that word, a um, bit of a punch to them, you know, that they can 
stand up for you, be strong, okay, for you. Okay, so we have got the world card with it. So now the world card indicates that things will be working out really well. Things will be better than you think, better than you realised. Okay, so yeah, it's not as bad as, you, as you've been um, fretting about, okay? So the middle of next week, so between 23rd and 29th of August. So um, by the middle of the week, there is a little bit of an, I'm seeing a bit of an argument or a bit of a um, heavy discussion. This is with a person in authority and this is after an appointment. So in this appointment and or a meeting and I'm hearing kind of like this, this cross energy, um, you know, you have no right to do that or I'm not having this or I'm, you know, going to sort this out. So it's, it's definitely standing your ground, not backing down, um, going into that. It's a feeling also as a, that somebody hasn't been listening to you. And because somebody hasn't been listening to you, you're going to feel as if you've got to shout it louder. OK, so there, there is a little bit of a dispute going on here, but um, I don't really want you to worry about it because it it feels as though things have to be said sometimes it's like having to put your point across when everybody else seems to be seems to be saying yes you're saying no you know and it's like well it's my prerogative you know this is how I'm feeling right so by the end of the week end of the week there is somebody who's going to be drifting away from you this person is not somebody who you want to tap on the shoulder and say, please come back. Um, you're actually quite pleased that they have. There is this, is also a, um, a feeling of, you know, I've got to take a risk. I've got to take a chance. I'm going to go for this or I'm going to do that. Okay. You're breaking away and being independent. Okay. And being independent and away from people who, um, have been controlling or you've been feeling as if they are controlling it may be that they're not actually being controlling but sometimes people just make us feel like that um yeah so it's like um I'm seeing doors closing I'm seeing new ones open okay A big transition energy this week for you um, there is somebody around you who they look as if they um are very intense and um, hungry for more information and it's, it's a feeling of making you feel a bit uncomfortable with their intensity okay so I don't know who this person is but it does indicate that you are you know feeling as if you don't want to get too involved with that okay trying to keep that um, separate okay so yeah there you go that's what I see for Virgos Okay, um, so Daphne, it's that's my birthday, and you have a boyfriend. Ah, so I see. So you're you were on the list to bring you two closer together. Is that right, Daphne? Because obviously the in five D list um, that I read out on Tuesdays on uh, Greg Prescott's in five D, um, our date night. Uh, that's what we're doing. We, we're reading out names and these names are for people. Uh, some people who are on there because they want to meet somebody and other people are there like me and Greg are on there as well. Um, and this is because we want to um, get physically closer. So obviously he's in America. I'm in England and we want to, you know, bring that together. So sometimes that's. Uh, yeah. So Daphne said a bit of a trying week. But it sounds like it will all work out. Yeah, that's kind of what I would say. Um, but you did have the world card. And the world card is, is a, you know, as you know, it's a very good card. You know, it's not something that you can grumble about. You know, we get the world card when everything is working out really well. Okay. So... Right, let's have a little look. My back's playing up at the moment. Okay, so 
what we're going to do now. We can do Capricorn, no, Taurus. We do Taurus, then Capricorn. <laughs> yeah, we're definitely going to do these signs a little bit smaller. <laughs> I think that's probably the better way. Okay, Taurus. Okay, Taurus, Taurus, Taurus for the 23rd. I have to keep saying the date, and that is because it's my, I, I'm telling my guides to look into those dates. Okay, that's why I'm, I'm doing that, just in case it's annoying anyone. Taurus. Taurus. On a night to theme. Okay, so the beginning of the week. Beginning of the week, we've got a new ambition, okay? Um, a start of a new project, getting excited about uh, your, your next venture. Uh, this could be anything from decorating the spare room to, you know, I don't know, starting a new project, um, you know, a new hobby or something. Um, so, but there's definitely something new that you kind of get fired up about. I'm also seeing that you are looking at what you already have and thinking, aren't I lucky? Aren't I lucky to have what I have? And even though things are, you know, there's a little bit of uh, blockages, okay, with this and that, but on the whole, look at what I do have. So it's about feeling that gratitude and feeling that, that pang of, you know, putting things into balance, okay, and not thinking the worst all the time. OK, um, and with the ace of wands, that is really going to be very fired up. It's going to be those really good ideas going off, the ideas that actually get you started. So ideas really come about with the ace of swords. They then turn into actually doing thoughts. So you, know, you actually then start to kind of catapult yourself into starting that project, finding out whether or not it's a viable project project. You know, if you say if you wanted to start, I don't know, building pyramids, you know, how how much outlay is there? What what do I have to do in order to get that moving forward? So. So the. By the middle of the week, middle of the week, I'm seeing self-employment or discussions about self-employment. Um, this can be with you directly or it could be somebody uh, close to you. I'm seeing, I'm seeing a pathway that splits into two, linking around financial um, situations. So this can be yourself directly, or it can be somebody um, linked with you. Um, I'm weighing it up, and I'm deciding whether or not this is the best way forward, or whether I should stay doing what I'm doing, or is there a chance to do both? Um, and you really are needing to discuss that with lots of people. I am seeing a get together and a meeting, and it feels as if this meeting is all about kind of standing your ground and fairness, you know, um, not just putting up with things because everyone else is. OK, so I can see, you know, you know, it's kind of like that stand on your soapbox moment where you you have your say and other people's jaws drop because they thought that you wasn't kind of paying attention or they thought that they could actually get away with you know treating you in a certain way okay and it's like haha you're not um so it could be that you're thinking of starting a self-employed business or you know doing something that you know a hobby turns into money okay so mid of the week by the end of the week for taurus victory celebration achievement there's lots of smiles on your face. There's lots of kind of enthusiasm. Other people are noticing how well you've done. Um, there seems to be links with overseas or abroad and um, a sense also of, you know, perhaps planning a holiday, planning going ahead, um, you know, with, uh, with travel plans. For some of you, there will be issues regarding a, uh, a vehicle. Um, and it's to do with purchasing a vehicle. I'm seeing 
that that feeling of do we take this this extra um extra debt on or do we keep it as it is and i'm seeing a lot of thought going into that okay to do with cars vehicles transport it's like weighing up how much it costs you otherwise to get from a to b on a regular basis and would it be cheaper to do with cars and transport so okay but i am seeing victory i'm seeing celebration i'm seeing um maybe a birthday cake or maybe um you know people kind of wishing you you know the congratulation there's just definitely a congratulation kind of energy around and being very um forward planning okay i would say there's somebody new around you as, as well um, that is going to be very significant to your future, uh, Torians. Uh, this person, they know what they're talking about. They know what they're doing. Now, some of you, it will be a possible romantic connection, but there are other people who aren't, aren't in that way. Because obviously, if I'm reading for one person, uh, the person sitting opposite me, I'm able to tune into that person and I'm able to... Um, give them an accurate reading, um, you know, and give you all the scenarios just for yourself. But um, because I'm reading for multiple people, there are going to be multiple scenarios. So you just have to kind of look at um, look at all look at the whole thing. So, like I said, for some of you, it'll be a romantic connection, meeting somebody of great significance and importance for others. Um, so it could be romantic or it could be friendship. Um, for the people who are looking for romance, don't be surprised if it's not a bit saucy. OK, you do have the mischievous card overlapping um, the celebration of love or lust. OK, so um, so, yeah, um, there does seem to be um, a link with your spirit guides um, getting together and getting two people together, you know, wanting these two people to connect. OK, so so, yeah. So if that, you know, like I said, is either romantic or there is a strong feeling of um, past life energies that can be. Yeah. So it could be friendship or it could be more. But uh, either way, it's intense. Mm. Sorry, lipstick. Some bang. <laughs> OK, that's for you guys, Taurus. So we're now going to do Capricorn. Capricorn, Capricorn. Okay. Make sure you see. Let's find a bit. Ooh, the ring light on there really doesn't make it easy at all. There we go. Backwards to me, but hopefully it's not for you guys. <laughs> okay, so Capricorns for the 23rd through to the 29th. Right. The beginning of the week for Capricorns. Okay, I'm seeing things going in reverse. Show me things going in reverse. A bit like everything was going forward and then it's now stopped. And then it's gone backwards. So it's a bit like getting somewhere and feeling as if that things were working out well, only to find that they're not so much now. And you've got to rethink things. Okay. There seems to be some deep emotions, either tears, emotions, confusion, um, things, you know, people kind of raising their voices and thinking, you know, um, you know, what are we going to do now? What are we going to do now? So it's a little bit of panic I'm, I'm feeling um, around you guys in the beginning of the week. So give another card linked to that. Okay, so it just indicates that you're going to need to be strong. You're going to need to be truthful. You're going to need to kind of own up and say whether or not 
you know, you might have got something uh, the wrong way round or mixed up, or maybe, you know, you could have made wiser decisions in the past, or somebody connected to you should have made wiser decisions. Maybe you should have noticed that they should have made those wiser decisions. I'm not sure. I just know that I feel that there's um, mistakes that have been made in the past, and they're all kind of rising to the surface a bit a li um, around the beginning of next week. Sorry, Capricorn. Um, I can see a lot of clarity and a lot of understanding, okay, of the situation. So although it might seem as if kind of you've kind of poached the, um, the bee's nest or something and, and it's kind of like having to kind of run around and things, but um, I will say that, you know, sometimes things need to be built on firm foundations. Um, and if they're not on firm foundation, sometimes we need to kind of knock the skittles down so that we can start again. And um, so, OK, so that's the beginning of the week. Uh, Brie. Hello, Brie. I'm trying to figure out how to get to chat. I'm a Scorpio. I want to let you know how much I appreciate you. Oh, Brie, thank you. That's really, really kind. Oh, thank you so much. Yeah, um, well, I'm reading your message, so you're obviously on the chat. Let me move that across a little bit. Okay. Oh, what, what, so you're Scorpio. Um, I haven't done Scorpio yet. Um, I've done all the air signs, and this is the last of the earth signs that I'm doing right now. Okay, so um, I was going to do the those last. Who said Leo before? I think Dauphine had Leo. But I think Dauphine has has gone. Okay, so what we'll do is instead of doing the um, fire signs. We will do the earth signs after this, okay? So um, I'll do that for you. All right. Okay, so the middle of the week for Capricorns. Capricorns, there's gonna be a very big change, okay, going on. It's a bit like um, someone's hit the restart button. You know, it was going in, um, in a kind of a way that nobody was gonna win. OK, it, it was one of those. It was like an eruption had appeared in your in your life. OK, and uh, you was trying to get everything balanced and sorted out. But by the middle of the week, the middle of the week, I think that things are starting to change a lot more. I can see um, a lot of protection energy around. I can see kind of putting um, a safety jacket around yourself. Um, I can see making sure that everybody is. Um, is happy and everybody is um, everybody knows where they stand and although there might be a feeling of people um, that's it. you know when people feel as if they are being rejected or they are being made to feel bad for no reason you know, they're, they're feeling a bit sorry for themselves um, that things are changing and that that situation will be sorting itself out. So I can feel deep emotions for you guys, um, Capricorns. OK. By the end of the week, end of the week, there's a lot more outspokenness. Um, again, I'm really sorry about this. A lot more outspokenness, um, lots of clarity, lots of um it's like deep, meaningful discussions, um, you know, putting your cards on the table, so to speak, excuse the pun, and uh, breaking free as well, breaking free from anything that has been restricting you. It's like it's not rest restricting me anymore. I'm absolutely done and dusted with that. There's going to be also a, a sense of that the battles that you have been feeling as if you're in are now um, coming to an end there as well. So there's a lot more um, balance back. Okay. But it does indicate that you've had to go through something, um, you know, a little bit up in the air. Okay. In order to get 
where you need to be now. OK, so um, so there you go this week for you Capricorns. Sorry, I was trying to put a positive and happy happiness on it, but it's going to be a little bit um, a little bit emotional for you guys. Now, sometimes these emotions can be linked with somebody directly close to you. So it may not be you directly. It could be, you know, partner. It could be, you know, um, a best friend and you're being there to support them. But that can still come up in your reading because it's it's like that's the biggest thing that's happening to you at that time. OK, so just wanted to point that out. OK, so we've done um, the air signs. And we've done the, so we've done uh, Aquarius, Gemini, Libra. We've done the Taurus, Virgo and Capricorn. And now we're going to do the Scorpios. Okay, so this is the Earth signs, Scorpio. it so this is my daughter Rhiannon hello my darling if you're watching this um Scorpios Scorpios got a bit of a sting in their tail as we know they can also be very defensive of other people and can sometimes go on the attack to defend other people so that's a Scorpio oh new money coming to you Scorpios so it's going to be a lot more. It's like a freer amount of money. OK, it's like um, an uplift. Right. Into that. So, into that. So. Scorpio, Scorpio to the 23rd through to the 29th of August. Yep. Beginning of the week. Looking straight ahead. OK, and knowing that things are clearer, it's like the storm has now passed um, in your life. So something that has been a little bit kind of on the. Um, how do I put that nicely? Any arguments, any misunderstandings, anything that has caused stress or worry is now moved into the past. There is a clearer and brighter day now that has just emerged. It's a bit like the sun's out now. Um, you know, you no longer have to look at all the rain clouds and everything and wonder when the sun will shine again um, because it's here. OK, I'm seeing some good news coming linked to legalities or official paperwork. I'm seeing um, a need to weigh things up and decide uh, then what to do. OK, so it's like a decision falls on your uh, shoulders and uh, your spirit guides are going to be there helping you. Your spirit guides will will be kind of giving you the uh, the answers to the questions, if you like. You just have to learn to listen. OK, so there will be help and advice there. Don't be surprised if there's not little signs as well. Um, so look out for kind of um, sometimes angel numbers. Um, sometimes it's more um, direct than that. Sometimes they'll, there'll be a few words on um, in a book that just stand out to you. Uh, sometimes there are kind of like, um, I don't know, the conversation, you're wondering about something, and then you walk past a, uh, another person having a conversation about your query and you're hearing them answer that, okay? Um, another thing that you could try, and this is for anybody, um, if you wanted to ask a question, sometimes you go to any book, any book on your shelf, even the, even the dictionary, <laughs> go to the book, um, have the book in your hand like this, and just ask and just say, okay, I need answers or clarity to my situation, okay? And then you basically open up the book, to a certain page and you get drawn to a certain paragraph and then drawn to a few words um, and then read that paragraph in the book. A lot of the time it will actually give you the clue that you've been looking for 
the answers that you've been looking for. It's just a, another little way of doing it. Maybe I do that in psychic development class. Um, next time I do it on a Monday. Um, it's also going to be links with the broader overseas as well, uh, coming at you, um, Scorpios. Right. Discussions about the broad and overseas. So you've got the world card um, around you, Scorpios, in the middle of the week. The world card is where everything is turning out better than you thought, um, that things were um, a little bit kind of stressful, but now everything is opened up and you are looking at your, um, your future. There seems to be a hard worker around you, or it could be you being that hard worker. And like I said, sometimes I'm picking up on multiple different scenarios and, um, you know, for so many different people. But this particular um, it is, so for some of you, it will be that you are the hard worker, that you are having to throw yourself into work, that everything is, is busy, 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 busy. It can be um, that I'm talking about a person, um, a person connected to you. OK, it could be a partner who is just working really hard and, um, you know, but there seems to be a lot of meetings as well, a lot of appointments and meetings. And, you know, it's like uh, lots of organisation, lots of kind of juggling of time, it looks like. OK, and I'm seeing this linking to um, going well okay because you've got the world card which means that everything is going better than you thought okay so I'm seeing lots of smiles and a feeling of relief okay and a feeling of right okay here we go now what's the next plan what's the next step okay and the end of the week for Scorpios the end of the week somebody from your past OK, this could be past life or past um, person in this lifetime. A uh, familiar person is coming back in. And the hangman indicates that everything seems to be upside down. OK, everything is in limbo. Everything is kind of, you know, nothing's happening. You're wanting everything to be sorted out and changed. And in the meantime, while you're kind of in that limbo um, phase, you've then got somebody um, familiar coming in. And this person is... Um, they're, they're coming in for a reason. Now, this could be distraction. It could be that this person, you know, there's some literal undone business that needs to happen between you and this person. Maybe things have wasn't clear in the past. Maybe it needs to be clearer now. Uh, sometimes it can be an ex or a person um, that, you know, you've had an emotional eruption with and that that um, was, you know, when it's not left right and you you then have to, you have to address the issues, you have to get to the bottom of it, even if it's painful. Um, and a lot of it I'm seeing as somebody being let down, let down, um, you know, somebody promising things and then not fulfilling those promises. So, yeah, there's a lot of that um, around you. Um, Scorpios. Okay, so we have Pisces. Pisces, Pisces. Okay. okay. Pisces. Actually, before I do Pisces, I'm just going to make a quick drink if you guys don't mind. Otherwise, they get a poorly throat. So who's still who's still out there? Who's still around? Bree, was that okay for you, the Scorpio? You just have the world card, so that was okay. Um, Dauphine, I think she's gone to bed. Bree's still here. Hi, Bree. What what a lovely name, Bree. That's really, really nice. Is it short for anything or is that your actual name, Brie? So if anybody um, follows Greg, he's just done another bigger picture. Um, so you can watch that on BitChute. So 
It makes sense, Bray. Good. Oh, that's good. I'm pleased about that. Okay, let me have a quick drink. So whereabouts are you from, Bree? You from the USA? Oh, Brianne, yeah. Do you know what that Brianne reminds me of Outlander? I don't know if you've watched that before, Outlander, um, but that's a very interesting um, series. Really enjoyed that. Louisiana, okay. Me and Greg were talking about kind of going round and doing an event at different, um, at different states. So we were thinking of, of doing that. Sounds, sounds like a plan. Louisiana. Okay, Pisces. So this is my birth sign. It's also my mum's birth sign as well. So me and my mum. So in our house, we have um, all, well, when, when we was kind of growing up and stuff. So we've got me and mum being Pisces. You've then got my daughter, Rhiannon, who's Scorpio. And then you've got my other daughter, Megan, who is Cancerian. So it's all these emotions flying everywhere. So a lot of the time we have to be careful not to upset each other um, because it, it can be a little bit like that at times. I've just dropped everything all over the floor. Um, there's lots of lot, um, people at different levels of kind of um, emotion, emotional states. <laughs> so, so yeah, unfortunately. So, what's it like in Louisiana? Is it kind of sorry, just brushing my hair. Um, is it kind of in a lockdown state, um, or is it getting kind of freed up a little bit now? What, what's happening in Louisiana? Also, uh, Brianne, what is your sun, moon and rising um, signs as well? Or do you, do you know them? All right, in the meantime, I'm going to start Pisces. OK, there's always a disla de delay uh, with, um, with the messages. So. Okay, so Pisces, so this is the 23rd through to the 29th of August 2021. If you are outside of these dates um, and you're, but you're still drawn to it, then there's obviously a message for you within the cards. Okay, so um, it's pretty bad right now. Number of cases in the US again. Yeah. Moon in Pisces. Oh, that's Stella. Hello, Stella. So she's got Moon in Pisces. Okay. And Brie has Moon in Sagittarius. Got you. Okay. Oh, flying out. The trouble is, it's it, the, with the cases, the cases are just the PCR tests, which are a lot of false positives. So um, you know, but they always always go by that, don't they? And um, make that um, a big thing. And that just gives them kind of more power to do more lockdowns and more control, doesn't it? Um, so it's all being, um, you know, very badly um, dealt with, doesn't it? Pisces, so me and my mom, Pisces. I think I've got my moon in Sagittarius as well. Three, yeah. Yeah, I think I will. I have, yes, Sagittarius, 
Rio, uh, Leo, no, sorry, Libra rising and Pisces sun. Okay, your week starts off with a sense of, it's like um, feeling as if I'm ready, I'm ready for battle or I'm ready to, um, to get what I want. You know, I'm ready for the new opportunities. I'm ready to get uh, my ambition or my desire off the ground. You know, nothing's stopping me. Don't even try blocking me. You know, it's kind of really fired up, um, fired up and ready. OK, it's, it's a good card. It's a very um, it's, a, it's a very. It's like if you wanted this card, if you if you were starting a new business and you had this card, I would say that's a feeling of being invincible. OK, that nothing can stop you Okay, from getting what you want. Um, now, for some of you, this is going to be linked with your home situation. Um, this can be linked with, you know, what's going on in your home, what's going on in your personal life, because we have the hermit card, okay? Um, and the hermit card next to the, um, that I'm getting it done or I'm fired up about it. And it's like, you know, I'm not going to, you, whatever you throw at me, I'm going to give it back to you, Okay. Um, but there is something to battle at this time. So there's obviously, you know, you've got to be in your bonnet about something and you're ready to fight for it. Like I said, so some of you, it will be to do with your home. For others of you, it will be to do with kind of um, feeling as if you're isolated a little bit. OK. So Stella's got sun in Virgo, Cancer ascending and Pisces moon. OK. Right. So by the middle of the week, the middle of the week, it, it feels as if everything is moving faster um, that, you know, I know where I'm going now. I know what I'm doing. This is this is the road to where I need to be. OK, there's a four of ones is about, you know, it, it's about having a target and literally being blinkered uh, to go towards this target, to go towards what it is that you desire, um, what it is that is rightfully yours. OK, I'm seeing lots of paperwork and planning. I'm seeing kind of projects written down on paper. I'm seeing an application form or I'm seeing kind of documents and uh, organisation. Um, I'm seeing a map and I'm also uh, being shown to needing to get um, everything onto. It's like I'm seeing it being boarded onto a car or a vehicle. It's like I've got to get everything there. Um, everything needs to be um, on this this um, this vehicle. I don't know what I mean by that, but sometimes that's exactly what um, why why I'm doing these. <laughs> it's like it's not supposed to make complete sense because it is it hasn't happened yet. This is for next week. Okay, so um, there's going to be a lot of kind of happy feelings here. Um, it seems to be a relationship that is bonding again, a relationship that is is coming together and making you feel so much more secure and so much um, um, so much happiness around you. Okay, um, so from the complications are understandings. There's also this very strong feeling of, you know, I am me. And if you don't like me, that's okay, um, because I'm not gonna change, because I don't feel as if I need to um, change for anybody. Um, so accept me or not, okay. So there's a very, it's a, it's a very confident you, but it's not in an egotistical or cocky way. It's more in a, in a kind of, you know, this centered aligned feeling and letting everybody else get on with it if they're not happy. Um, again, I'm seeing links around vehicles and transport. So um, if you're needing to buy a new car, um, make sure that you double check and double check and double check because I do feel as if there's something that's going on that um, is showing signs of complications um, in the middle and the end of this next month. OK, so. OK, I'm seeing. A document with a date on it. And it's like I'm seeing expiry date. OK, so 
look out for that paperwork, especially if, if you're in the UK. Because in the UK, I don't think it's the same in the States, but in the UK, we have things called MOTs, okay? Um, and it's all to do with getting a vehicle checked out and making sure that um, this, yeah, it's making sure that that everything is, is running smoothly on a car and you have to do it every year. Okay, so, and it's not always easy to remember when this is because it just flies around, doesn't it? Um, dates and things. So I think for some of you, it's like I'm giving you that little bit of nudge to get it, to get it done, uh, get what needs, get the work done that is needed. So I don't know why I'm coming out with these things, but I have to give it. So spirit work for the world card. So it's not going to be as bad as you was um, thinking. Okay. Okay. So then we have Cancerians, and this is my other daughter, Megan. Um, this is for you, my darling, and for other Cancerians as well. Oops, let's start there. Okay, Cancerians. They tend to walk sideways around situations rather than uh, confront things or confront people. Right. Starting off the week, talking about different ways of earning money or earning extra money. Um, now, this isn't just about money. This to me feels as if um, I'm, I'm getting excited about the possibilities of me um, achieving goals that I've set myself in the past um, and, you know, things that I want now to happen. Um, and I'm sensing that there are people around you who don't feel the same way or are putting some doubts in your mind. So they are indicating maybe um, keeping things, um, it's like maybe keeping things um, to yourself a little bit because it feels as if, you know, sometimes when we've got a little, imagine a little seed that's growing and imagine not giving it the best start by uh, putting up some boundaries. OK, so imagine that. Um, so this to me is, is the, the sense that allow your instinct to kick in and allow you to see where it's going. To look at the possibilities of what is OK um, and uh, and see it progress. So. Sometimes we need to let something, you know, have a bit of time before we tell everybody, okay, about our new pathway. There does seem to be a bit of an obstacle, okay, around, okay, the beginning of the week. So this, this obstacle is, it's something that needs to be worked around. And for somebody to, to just criticize and not give you any help in actually organizing um, what needs to change, um, is going to get you annoyed, it is going to get you, um, it's going to make you feel as though, you know, you want to tell them to butt out or to, um, to not get involved. Okay, so I'm just going to give it to you like that. Okay. So far, you know, we have running themes every single week that I do these when I'm doing all of them, there seems to be everybody's at a certain stage in their journey. It's a bit like, um, you know, um, going upwards towards that next kind of level. Well, this level, it is about falling out with people or um, not, not giving in to what everybody else thinks or what everyone else is saying and standing out. Okay, so it is about being a leader. Okay, and a lot of these readings are that, you know, I am going to tell you straight away. I am not going to be putting up with that anymore. Or, you know, in my opinion, I'm going to give it. So you're just very, very strong energy. By the middle of the week for Cancerians, there is some legal or official documents here. Um, so this can be anything from letters or forms or 
um, things of great interest. There is issues about motherhood. So this could be about you and your children, if you have children. It could be about you and your mum. It could also be about somebody who um, you need to nurture. Maybe you need to be nurtured at this time because it's my nurture, my Empress card. There is an appointment or a meeting and I feel that these paperwork um, are gonna be very vital for this meeting, okay? You, um, you it, it's like you can't delay it anymore. You can't put it, put it away. You can't shove it in the background, okay, anymore because it's, it's there, okay? And it's, uh, it's in, your, in your face. Okay, so by the end of the week, end of the week, there's a little bit of kind of nerves. I'm feeling nervous. I'm feeling as if my emotions are kind of, you know, getting a bit over, uh, overboard. But it's it's where I want to say there's nothing to worry about here. You've got the worst done, and now um, it's it's like you've just got to let everything play out, um, let the whole situation play out the best way possible. Um, you have the Nine of Pentacles, which indicates um, there is going to be abundance. Um, around you, okay, or a feeling of self-worth, um, a feeling of getting what, um, get what you want from a situation, okay, um, so all the worry is not helping you, okay, it's not helping your situation, okay, I am seeing abundance around, so I know that things are going to be, um, they're going to be good, okay, even if they don't seem it. OK, so there is going to be um, a, a pathway linked with finances that is going in. You know, it's, you've got to decide whether you're going in that direction or this direction. You're going to have to make a choice, make a decision. There seems to be somebody who is very tearful, very emotional, and their emotions are very much on the surface. And you're not going to please everybody. Um, and I feel that this person who is showing signs of being tearful and emotional, um, you know, maybe the first person that is going to not get what it is that they want from the situation. Uh, but sometimes, you know, immaturity means that they can't see things from anyone else's perspective, um, which also isn't helpful, okay? So, yeah. Okay, so there we go. There's the water signs for everybody. So we're going to do fire signs now. Going to do Leo's, and then Sagittarius, and then Aries. Okay, is that backwards for everybody? Or is it not? Oh no, I'm seeing it on the screen here. It's not backwards. Yeah. Hmm. I'm going to watch your bigger picture, darling, after this. Um, but I may fall asleep and I may end up uh, watching the rest of it in the morning. Mm. Okay, so I'm running a circle tomorrow evening at 7.30 p.m. UK time, 2.30 p.m. Eastern, 11.30 a.m. Pacific time. 7.30 start um, in England. And it is on Zoom and it is five pounds, which works out around seven dollars if anybody wants to join in. Right. OK, so for Leo's, lovely Leo's. Right. OK, you're going to start off with. See, again, again, honestly. <laughs> there's a running theme, OK, and I'm seeing it again. OK, links with that. All right. Um, so this to me is um, some hassles, some hassles. And um, it feels as if it's some 
It's like somebody showing signs of attitude and it's linked in a home. So this could be in your home or it could be in a home situation. And it's like, I'm, I've had enough. I've had enough. Um, you know, I've got enough challenges going on without facing you as well. OK, it's all about kind of, you know, that it's like I'm battling to get what it is that I want, where I want. And in it, it's like it's like um, somebody deliberately kind of putting a damper on your kind of plans. OK, um, so this is regarding your home, your home life. OK, now you're going to be shining brightly. So this is this is what they're trying to do. But what, what actually is what you're going to do is this, which is like whatever you chuck at me or whatever circumstances are against me I'm going to get rid of that I'm going to achieve everything that I set out to achieve you just watch me so very very determined okay okay so also um, spending some money okay here um, getting money spent um, having a spend up but there is a reason for it so sometimes we have a spend up for the sake of a spend up and sometimes we are kind of um, there is a reason for it and it's like if we get if I sort out this and I pay off that and this happens then we've got a bigger chance to then go forward so it's about I'm see, hearing you grouping together with somebody or you're kind of getting your money were organized in a very clever fashion okay uh, which is a good thing now there does seem to be somebody new around you at the middle of the week the middle of the week this person is going to be somebody significant to your future um, somebody who you you know and you will know um, and you will be close to okay so by the end of the week for Leo's end of the week it's you being stubborn and you being selfish saying I deserve more I deserve better uh, don't treat me like that I'm going to deal with your bad behavior okay so um, like we've seen with a lot of kind of all of these um, all of these readings so far it is about battling with people or anybody who is not um, treating us right who is you know making us feel as though you know when somebody always points the finger back at you even though it's their fault they they started it or they're the ones that are causing the problems and yet they just keep chucking it at you and saying you know if you hadn't done this and if you hadn't done that then I wouldn't have uh, done this so I've also seen somebody who's going through domestic um, violence OK, as well, um, they just showed me a picture of that. So um, I will say, you know, please reach out to people. Um, don't feel as if you've got nobody, even if it is myself. Um, please, you know, don't don't just suffer this on your own. There is there are more um, there are more places now than ever before uh, where you can actually get the help that you need. OK, so, um, you know, it is it is some for some of you, it is going to be time. Um, this is enough. This is time. OK, um, I've come to the end of that road um, because you've got the um, the ten of cups, which is the feeling here of being. Um, this is who I am. If you don't like it, then tough, because I'm not going to be changing anytime soon. OK. Uh, you then have the chariot, which is about moving forward, um, going ahead with your plans, um, steering yourself into the right direction. Um, and then after that, you've then got the star, which is about your hopes, dreams and wishes. Um, so you can see that even though somebody hasn't treated you right, they're not going to be getting away with it anytime um, soon. OK, so that's not a bad thing, is it? All right, so we're going to do Sagittarius. Oops, stuck. Sagittarius. Yeah. OK, 
been absolutely shattered. This is unlike me to be this tired at nearly 4 a.m. I mean, usually I'm going to bed at 7 a.m., something like that. Hmm. I think I'm going to change my cards, but I do have to get out. At the moment, I'm working um, just for anybody who's training, doing tarot, just another little idea. Um, so um, what I do is I take out the major arcana cards in a deck, OK, and I pick one major arcana card linked with two others. And then I read from that point. And I found that, you know, you can really work very well with kind of the, the, the positive and the powerful energy of the, of, the, um, of the major arcana. And then the other two blend and help it out, um, help the energy get out there. OK, and the knowledge, it's a lot, lot better. So maybe try it, see how you feel about that. So always read three cards together. And the three cards are um, one major arcana and two minor arcana. Okay, and that could be personalities as well. Oh, perhaps I've kind of lost all the major arcana cards somewhere along the line. I've been doing, um, I did a, an event last night at the uh, Five Bells in Eastry. And um, oh, here they are. And sometimes the cards get all, all mixed up. Now, I did um, psychic development and we were talking about chakras and um, somebody pointing out that once you've got all your chakras balanced out, um, you know, your seven main chakras, you then got to work on all your other ones as well. And this just reminds me of that is what Phil said. Um, there's all your other ones as well above. OK, so it's having to get to. Um, OK, let's let's sort out this one now. So that just reminds me of that. It's quite funny. Yeah, so I've got my major arcana cards out. Right. It gives you kind of um, energy at that point. So, major arcana. So, Sagittarius, let's have a look and see. Sagittarius people. Okay. So, we're starting out the week for Sagittarius with the hanged man. Okay. These are the light seers tarot, okay, the hanged man. So it's where everything is in limbo or a situation isn't yet resolved. Um, there needs to be patience. Sometimes look at things from a different person's um, perspective. Um, and the delay is sometimes all about that, okay? Right, okay, so beginning of the week, let's have a look. Right, now you are on a mission at this time, um, school, uh, Sagittarius. So you're on a mission. It's like your spirit guides have given you the direction that you need to go. And what you're going to be doing is being very focused on that, even though everything seems to be upside down. And I feel that in some way, in one, in one um, perspective of your lives, you're going to be in that limbo state. But in an in another way, you are um, being led. Do you see what I mean? So you can't do any of the leading. Do you see what I mean? So your energy levels are seeing what happens. OK, um, but, you know, spirit are moving for you. OK, so even if that is getting your head clear of clutter. OK, so it can be that. Um, so I'm seeing some travel plans around you guys, Sagittarians, okay? 
Now, for some of you, this will be talking about travel um, and organising travel. This would be plans for a holiday, a getaway um, or going on a long trip. OK, for others of you, it will just be about um, it can be about movement. OK, so but the eight of wands means that there's nothing stopping you. It means that you're ready to go. Um, there is a, um, a sense of celebration, a sense of party a sense of people getting together and enjoying themselves, okay? Um, lots of laughter, lots of fun around you at the beginning of the week, uh, Sagittarians. So by the middle of the week, we've got the Strength card. And I love the Strength card in the Lightseer's Tarot. Um, so look at that. That basically indicates that you might have a very soft exterior on the outside, but if you're trying to come for um, from my my uh, my family or my loved ones, you better watch it. It's OK, so it's like having that warrior princess energy. OK, you've got the femininity, um, you know, and then you've got this kind of like a masculine energy around you as well. OK, so try not to let things get you down. Try not to concentrate too much on what you don't have or what the comp um, and all the issue is. OK, because the more that you concentrate on that issue, the more that that issue gets bigger and bigger and bigger. And I think we're all kind of guilty about that, aren't we? Um, you know, we all do that. Don't be surprised if you're not meeting somebody of great importance as well. Um, because I'm seeing the two of cups and um, this one can sometimes mean about a romantic connection um, and sometimes it might mean you know just that two people have met who are very much you know they might have had a strong past life energy um, and this person and you uh, connecting is going to make a big impact in the future okay um, you are looking ahead. You are looking at your future. You are, it's like making some big plans, making some strong plans. Okay. But having to get your head clear first, having to kind of like, um, it's like mapping out your direction. Okay. But sometimes that map, they show me that sometimes even the map is going to be, you know, you can't go in that direction. You've got to go around it this way. OK, so um, I'm seeing travel plans. OK, um, I'm seeing getting ready to go somewhere um, that will take you away for um, quite a few nights away from your usual premises. So to me, that feels like a, a, a holiday. OK. Um, the end of the week is all about temperance, trying to keep everybody happy, try and make sure everybody is OK even when you feel as if I'm not okay, you know, and because I'm not okay, um, I'm having to keep up the appearances by, you know, um, smiling sweetly and pretending it's all fine, don't worry about it, okay? So you're being very, very strong, but in your head, there is somebody who you're having doubts about, you're kind of looking at them thinking, I don't know if they're telling me the truth, I don't know if there's something else happening that is kind of hidden, away okay um this strong energy um this strong energy is definitely um yeah it feels as if this you know when you know something's not quite right and when you know you know okay there is this definite it's a definite situation that only you can sort out or you can work out in your own head why you feel the way that you do. Um, sometimes this can mean that only you can see it and everyone else can't. Everyone else is kind of fooled by this person's energy and everybody thinks that this person is wonderful. Um, and when you look at this person, you're not seeing that, okay? I can see, um, you know, when sometimes you hold your hands up and say, do you know what, whatever happens, happens. OK, I give in to it. All right. So I know that there's lots of changes around and moving. And, you know, if that's what's meant to be in my life, then I resist. Um, I'm not resisting. I am giving in and letting it happen. OK, so 
All right, so that's what I'm seeing. Okay. That's that. Okay, so uh, we're now doing Sagittarius, aren't we? No, so, no, we're doing Aries, the last one, Aries. Okay, good, because my back is really hurting now. So I'm sorry if you'll see me rocking, but it is bad. So I've got to look into these because I've put the major arcana cards back in the deck. Mm -hmm. Which is not good because that's not my plan. All right, so let's carry on with that. So Aries, I know this is our Vera. Vera is Aries. What's early for me, darling? What back eight early for me? Or being tired, I don't know. <laughs> I think Mary Jane accidentally hit the um, the call button. Maybe I need to maybe I need to scream. Yeah. Maybe I do. Right, so Aries. Twenty third through to the twenty ninth of August. That's bizarre. That's bizarre. Okay, so you've got the same kind of cards. Uh, for the major arcana as um as Sagittarius but I always see Sagittarius as very very similar energies to Aries Sagittarian has more of the femininity but the feisty female energy um not necessarily a female but it can be a man with a, a feminine side so it's like getting on and doing things and achieving things um you know being in that kind of like I'm taking no prisoners kind of energy and um, the Aries is all about kind of being masculine okay it's like um, it's like kicking ass and not take and not and not uh, being wishy-washy about it at all okay so all right so again we start off at uh, the beginning of the week with um, the hanged man Okay, so the hanged man is about maybe looking at things from a different angle, seeing things from someone else's point of view, um, your life being on hold, ready for the next um, level of your journey. Okay, so sometimes we, we are put on hold situations um, for bigger reasons than we know now. Okay, but later on it makes perfect sense. But for now, it's like we're just frustrated that it's not happening now. Okay, so right. So next week, predictions. Okay, so finding another way around a um, a situation. Okay, and getting it's like there's a spiritual energy. There's definitely a spiritual lesson happening. This spiritual lesson is it's like feeling as though I want to dance, I want to uh, let myself completely go. I want to give in to my um, my internal, um, it's like my, my eternal or my internal kind of uh, balance and saying, you know, what will be, will be. Okay, so it's, it's definitely um, a trust energy, but it's trusting in your spirit guides and trusting in, you know, where you're going. OK, with your uh, with your work, where you're going with your relationship, where you're going in kind of general life. OK, so it's like you're you're finding being at one with the situation. OK, um, so middle of uh, the week. OK, middle of the week, you're at the temperance. OK. 
case. Temperance is about trying to please people, trying to be in the balance, trying to weigh up the pros and the cons, um, making sure that people's needs are met. But sometimes we forget about our own. OK, so when we're busy looking after others, um, it's not so easy. OK. Right. So once again, you know, you've got two cards that indicate celebration, indicate, you know, this card just makes me feel, you know, when you're in that feel good kind of energy. And it's like, you know, I've done it. You know, look at look at what I've got. Look at what I've done. <coughs> it's linked, excuse me. It's linked with this kind of like the balance energy. I was watching something really amazing. I've got to share it with you. Um, so I was around my, uh, my daughter's um, earlier today having dinner. And um, they put on this, um, it's a children's yoga thing and it's about teaching them yoga but it's teaching them via here it's teaching them via um um you know gruffalo and we're going on a bear hunt or is it gruffalo i don't know if gruffalo is it we're going on a bear hunt and they're doing the all these yoga moves and the kids are, are just you know with their little mats and they start off honestly the kids are starting off we're going Put your hands together and put your <clears throat> cross your cross your legs and say namaste and and then they start all these yoga moves so if you've got young children and you want to keep them keep them balanced and kind of get them doing yoga um, at such an early age then um look that up going on the bear hunt in yoga okay on youtube um well worth it it's brilliant so kind of that just reminded me <laughs> of it it kind of uh, brought back that that kind of memory so this is about basically being in alignment with the true you you know I know who I am do you know who you are you know and it's like I'm not trying to be anything else other than myself okay and that is the success card that is the yes I've done it I've finally worked out who I am. I finally know, okay? But then you get a little obstacle, okay? It's a little barrier, but it's not big enough to worry about because it's like you can easily step over that um, or launch yourself, you know, with that stick. But it's, it's still there and it's a little obstacle that you need to kind of get past. And then you have the hangman, which is everything is upside down. Everything is kind of in a limbo mode. OK, so it's like time will time will change uh, things. OK, and then we move in as we move into the middle, the temperance card, which is about the balance, trying to please everybody, trying to make sure everyone's OK. Um, and then I said that this is why I went back and go into the beginning of the week, because by the middle of the week, you've also got celebration again. OK, and a feeling good energy. It's like dancing around saying, you know, um, we're well on our way to getting what it is we want. Um, it, everything seems to be going well. OK. Um, and again, you've got the eight of wands, which is to do with travel plans. Um, it's to do with movement. Uh, nothing stopping you. Um, and also um, I'm picking up on being led by your higher self being led by what, what spirit want you to do, what you promise to do in the spirit, in, in kind of this lifetime, you promise to go into this life path. And I feel that uh, Aries people, you're going to be, it's like all the pennies drop all at once and go, I know what I want to do. I know where I'm going. That's it. Okay. And being very focused on that. Okay. So, um, that is going to be the middle of the week. And by the end of the week, end of the week, you've got your mischievous side is coming out to play um, and needing to come out and play more than you've, more than ever. OK, it's all been a bit too serious. It's all been, you know, a bit kind of heavy. Um, and now there's the laughter. So once again, we've got the laughter 
um, card again. So you've had laughter right the way through your reading Aries. And this is where you can find most things funny. OK, even if they're very, very heavy. OK, you can usually laugh it off. OK, so let's have a look and see what's happening the end of the week for you. OK, so, yeah, the end of the week. Um, be careful what you're thinking about. Be aware of your mindsets. OK, so um, if you're kind of thinking, oh, I'm never going to achieve that or, or, you know, that's not worked in my favour or I want I want things to change somehow. OK, so whatever that whatever that is, um, that focus energy is going out to the universe. It's, imagine that you've got kind of these carrier pigeons that every time you have a thought, um, whether it be negative or positive, it's going out uh, to the universe and the universe is then ordering it and bringing it back to you. So some of the things that we think about, we don't want to be thinking about that because you're going to get more of the same. So um, be, be careful um, about those thoughts. Um, so try and, you know, try and change it. So if you're thinking, oh, I haven't got this, it's like, well, I'm going to get that. You know, that is coming to me and the universe is bringing it. OK, the universe doesn't understand sarcasm. So you can be as sarcastic as you like. You know, I'm going to get that Ferrari. I'm going to get that yacht. I'm going to get whatever I want, you know. And it's like, it, it, you know, the universe hears that. And we've got to stop feeling guilty about wanting nice things. When we when when good people get nice things, they do nice things for others okay that is how it works okay um and the sooner that we um normal people out there the good people out there understand the law of attraction and don't just leave it for the people who've got egos um you know to um to achieve everything um as long as we kind of like st we start stepping up and saying okay i deserve yeah i want I want nice things and I'm going to get them. OK, let's lose. Let's use this positive energy for positive things for the normal people. OK, and I class us as being normal people. OK, so this card is going to resonate with more people. You've got the dog. OK, so maybe there's a dog in the spirit world or maybe this might be a dog around you at the moment. OK, but th this is, indicates a happy family unit. Um, people around who have got lots of um, lots of fun energy, lots of laughter that you can see right the way through your cards. It's all been about laughing and joking. OK, and then you've got this card, which I absolutely love this card in the Nightseer's Tarot. Um, it's the Ace of Wands. Um, and this is basically saying I am fired up with a new idea and a new inspiration inspiration. And all I've got to do now is put things into action and maybe find out whether or not this this new plan is viable, whether it can actually get off the ground. But with the 10 of pentacles around you, this to me indicates that, yes, you have got that ability to make that happen. OK. So there you go. That's all the verse signs. Mm hmm. So my back is is really hurting now. <laughs> so um, I'm going to I'm going to toodle off and I'm going to sit back in my chair and um, put my feet up a bit, I think, um, to try and get <laughs> try and get this backache sorted. But thank you for joining me. And uh, again, if you if there's anybody who wants to do the raffle, OK, you just have to contact me. OK, you would need to inbox me, OK, on Facebook or send me an email, OK, if you want to be part of this raffle, because I may not see these messages. Um, you can ask me for, um, you know, a certain certain um, space, OK, a certain number. Or you can um, let me pick them for you. So if you say you want five tickets, I'll just randomly pick you five tickets okay um if you're wondering what is um what these uh, offers are one is the light box that you can see it's uh, let's move that one 
Okay, so you can see it kind of, it, you, you know, you can do different colors and things and it's good for meditation. Okay, there's going to be two main prizes and two mystery prizes. Another one is runes. Okay, so these are black and gold runes. You've got pendulum. Okay, pendulum is a cat's eye um, pendulum. You have got the gilded tarot. Okay, the gilded tarot. And, um, and that's the sun, the gilded tarot. There you go. There's some really nice, really nice illustrations. It's Cairo Marchetti, so they're always bright and cheerful. Okay, so choice of that. Another choice is the good tarot. Okay, so the good tarot. So first, first draw out would be, you know, gets the first choice of the of the of um, the prize. Okay. So you've got those. You've got another choice, which is some coasters. Okay. Some of my resin coasters. So you can pick on, you know, four. Okay. Um, it's a it's a it's a four uh, four a set of four. Okay. Or you've got um, the butterfly window decor. Okay, so um, this basically um, shines lots of um, sparkles and colours around the room. Okay, so there's that one. And um, I think that's, that's it. That's the choices. So, so yeah, you would, you, you, you've got two main choices and then you've got two mystery prizes. And um, yeah, so if you want to have a go on that, this is what is left with the numbers. I'll just show that. And this is UK time 4.15 on the 23rd of August, 2021. Okay, so yeah, so inbox me um, on Facebook, Psychic Alley dot uh, no yeah psychic alley one to one okay or alison james on facebook or you can go to um, my website and contact me by there psychic alley dot net and you can pay your pound it's a pound to go pay your pound there um uh, which is make a payment okay on my website or you can go to uh, paypal which is guiding angels at btinternet.com. So guiding is G U I D I N G, guiding angels at btinternet.com. Okay, so um, that's it for me now. Um, take care, everybody, and I'll probably see you next week um, with another weekly, um, weekly tarot forecast. Okay. Take care.